everybody. Uh, we're off to Longfield Farm. It's near the Peak District, near Buxton. Okay, bye. Anyway, we've got a lot of gear in this car. We've got the two low residents there. Uh, William's going to do the. Oops! That was heavy. Oh dear, that was heavy. All our shopping. Uh, Will's just sorting out the hitch. Yeah, yeah, you do the shopping, I'll do the hitch. Okay. Uh, we'll need to get the bag out, sorry. Here we go, this is the actual um, Protec cover that we popped down yesterday, really quick to take off. And I'll throw, we'll, put, we'll leave that on the floor in here. Oh. So this is how we, we are. You can leave it out, Will, and we'll put it back in when you're done. Okay. Um, oh, well, I'll put everything in now. We've got uh, everything in the in the bathroom area, um, the, the aqua roll, etc. Just have a quick walk around. We haven't been out for five months um, and we thought because last time we came there were storms um, and we haven't been out for five months and we booked this weekend and again <laughs> we've got a storm, Storm Kathleen I think. Anyway this this tyre we left it in storage for five months uh, the tyre was very low, it only had 21 psi in it and you do need 40 in these. I also, we, we, uh, we're, as you know, William's with us today, um, and Catherine, um, and we're off to, up to the Peak District. Um, it's three nights, um, we've took the Tula residence with us, but we're on grass, but we've got electric, and we thought, well, we'll get electric because we haven't had the leisure battery on trickle for, I think it's four months since we, since we went last time. So um, we'll be able to top that up by plugging into electric, but the problem is being on grass we don't know if it's going to be muddy or whatever, so we'll just have to assess it. If it's like a mud bath we might not be able to use the residence, so it might not be a good idea because of the floor, um, but we'll see anyway. Perfect. I saw we was thinking of selling the Reba at one point. We've changed our mind now. Uh, we've been looking at the cost of various holiday options, and um, you know anything with a bit of quality, the Reba is probably the best bet. Uh, also, as well, where, you, where we are now, we're on a new storage site. So previously, we was paying one thousand three hundred a year, which was a real put off to us. Um, and I've been wanting to get onto this now since we bought the Ariba. There's never been any spaces. Anyway, one space came up, the very last one, somebody must have moved off or whatever, um, and it's £520 a year, which is what we should be paying. Um, because previously, you know, this location is only a couple of miles from where we live, where there's a previous location. It was going into the town, it was a load of hassle. Um, anyway, so, so that's it. So we're staying with Beatrice. Yeah, we'll stay with this one as well. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll just stitch up in a minute. Anyway, uh, this is how we're travelling. Bedding at the back. We're leaving the Protec on the floor there. We'll just put that in the under the canopy or whatever, or under the arena. We don't use the two layer. More bedding. It's all light stuff really. Uh, one thing that we do bring with us is this little sink plunger because with these arebas. And even though we avoid putting food down the actual plug hole, um, the drains can get a little bit a bit slow. So just give it a quick plunge and it goes straight down again. Anyway, let's jump out. You got the key, Will? Yeah. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll hitch up. Perfect. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. That's it, straight away. Just a second. I'm not 
putting it into these holes anymore. Um, as long as the brake or air cable snatches the handbrake up, if it disconnects, then that's fine. I'm good with that. Fairly easy to put on. Right, let's bring the jockey wheel up into that little groove so as it stops the wheel from spinning around when you're on the motorway. Well, there's one thing that we should do though, and I'll do it now, is I'll wind the wheel down, check if it's, and just bring that it's properly, check that it's properly hitched. I can see it now lifting the car, which confirms to us that we are properly hitched. Lane End Farm Trust, 1 over 31. say on pitch up and uh, put the farm name or the campsite name and it takes you to completely the wrong place and then you get into what's called a, a mobile phone signal black hole anyway we've had to stop and ask somebody who was pulling out of the drive um, and we've, we think we've got there now uh, we've got some signs we've picked up some signs but these guys they need to start using this thing called what three words because the, the directions are crap to be honest right I'll see you in a bit it says slow down Five mile an hour. Even if you wanted to, you couldn't. <laughs> it actually feels worse than what it looks. This road, the car's been thrown all over the place. Yep. Right. Oh, I'm going to the toilet. Catherine, you go. I've got to phone these guys up to get a pitch number. Right. What a palaver. So anyway, phone these two numbers up. One was clueless, the second was a bit less clueless, but they're basically not going to have paper, they don't know anything about the booking. Um, and the other blocks trying to call us back and they're ignoring. Um, anyway, so we've just got been told to go and find anything grass with electric. So it's been raining, so we just have to be a bit careful as to what we actually, actually go on. So we'll pack up and we'll actually have a walk about now to see what we've got, because They've got ads standing and they're all booked up for this weekend, so we'll see. Right, just hang on. There looks like there could be something. I'll just turn around there. Let's go and have a look. Me and our William will just nip out and walk a foot. Right, so just looking here. It's a bit soggy. It is a bit soggy. Um, it does seem quite well drained. So I think, well, what do you reckon? I think somebody's had the, the caravan here, right? But we'll not go there because it's cause we'll not go there because it's a bit muddy. We'll reverse the reba up to here, yeah, up to here, and we'll put the we'll we'll take it right back and we'll on, on the ground. It seems it seems quite firm here. What do you reckon, Will? Yeah. I'll reverse here. Yeah. We've got electric there, which is good. Just have a quick look around. 
and we will now reverse in. What a palaver. They, these guys need to just get their admin sorted out. But it doesn't help with being no signal. Okay, I'll reverse in, you watch as well. Just reversing up now. It's taking his time. So we're just unhitching it and using the motor mover instead. Oh, William's operating the motor mover, but it's not engaged it. <laughs> yeah, we're not making the same mistake as last time. Um, there's just no traction in that grass, even with even with the diff lock on, the front to back diff lock. Is it, is it okay engaging it right? Yeah, 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 and yeah. Just go on, just wind it. So we'll just hope that, combined with the motor mover, we can push it, and we'll just get it back far enough. Help it out. So I'm just, I'm just pushing it and using the motor mover now. Yeah. No grip at all. You got it? Yeah. That's ridiculous. They shouldn't take your money if the ground's too wet. Anyway, we'll do it for me, yeah? We'll leave it to you. Anyway, this is what we're stuck with. So we're not going to try and move the Ariba. We're going to camp there, okay? Um, the, the vehicle is not designed to be able to grip all that grass and have 1.3, 1,300 kilograms behind it. So we've had this before. So what we're gonna do is just pitch up there and I will manage. I have just spent um, two of us trying to set up. Uh, we um, tried to put the two layer residence up. It's this storm this weekend, quite windy. So the actual canopy was uh, lifting right up and taking our William with it. He's holding on with two hands. So, and there's mud everywhere. So everything's covered in mud. So we've had to abandon the two layer residence because there's no way you can set up this wind. We've never had it this bad before. Um, we've had the mud this bad, but we was on the hard standing. So we've actually on camping on mud this time. There's mud everywhere. So we've had to mop down all the two layer residence panels because when they were flapping about, they were brushing against the mud and this and the other. So we've got that away now. I'll just show you now. Uh, Will's just. So what we're going to have to do is take our shoes off before we go in and put them in a plastic bag so they don't get wet if it rains. And once we're in and we're set up, we'll be nice and cosy. So uh, yeah, we've we've not been away for. for um, well, since before Christmas, and we drained all the tanks, you see, so we had to, we filled one acre all up, purged the tanks through, but then the water's still quite low, so we need another half an acre all to fill the tank. Anyway, oh, bloody hell. Anyway, we're going to go up nip into books and then get some beers, because I'm telling you, I need a beer. See you later. And it's turned out nice, the wind has come down little bit but it's still breezy we've decided that we're not going to bother with the two layer residence just had a nightmare with it so we'll just stay like this now for this weekend Aye, right, so you don't have a telephone signal here uh, we're on Vodafone you don't have a telephone signal so you've no data and now uh, well he's just trying to plug in the um, the, the wireless transmitter um, into this into this iPad and he's just gonna see if we've got a, um, a TV uh, signal we've, because we've no mobile and no data which is a bit of a problem really because you know when we uh, wake up tomorrow we want to plan for the day but you can't because you've no internet so we'll have to drive somewhere park up plan there come back you know it's a bit more than you we've just got used we, we could have done it before we came but we didn't realize that we'd have no data at all anyway catch up in a bit I'm just going to do a correct. <laughs> 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 
I've not got the best knife in the world, but I'll do the best I can. Catherine's doing the chicken curry tonight. Oh, William's actually gone for some hot water. We have hot water, but it's. Um, I've had some garlic. Go on, put the garlic in. Right, she's got the chicken here, and uh, yeah, I look forward to this. What we've got is we've got this big pan here which we bought. It's a, it's a cast iron or a, a steel pan. And we bought it for the induction hub, hoping that we was going to get the two layer residents and have a nice setup this weekend, but it's not a chance. But it is drying out a little bit and we are able to you know take our shoes off and, and walk in uh walk in clean so that's not too bad yeah we haven't had um, any issues uh, before putting the two layer residence on but it was so windy here and we've got the storm kathleen perfectly timed yet again for when we've come away we've had to you know we had the, in, the induction of and everything it was up to get a good setup we just you know if we, if i could click my fingers and get the two layer residence up it would withstand the wind but in between winding the canopy out and getting everything pegged down with the storm straps it's very vulnerable and it would just cause too much damage it's not possible to put a two layer residence up in the wind if you had like um uh, an awning for example an air awning that would be much better but this is where the two layer residence it's um that's that's this that's its weak spot actually setting it up while it's in the wind and it's mainly because of the of the canopy very vulnerable to the wind anyway that's it so we have a problem these are eber hobs um they're all right for tiny pans but these pans are too big for this hob but we're just having to manage okay. right i've cut the chicken in here because the gas is not that great so i'm going to make sure the chicken's sort of cooked now i'm going to put this on here and i'm going to transfer the chicken into the curry yeah so and we've got some tomatoes yet haven't we yeah, the... some more tomatoes. I'm going to give it a okay. put all the juices in and all the flavours. Right. Okay. But it's and finally the tomatoes. Mix in. And leave to cook slowly. Anyway, we forgot to bring the coat hangers and everything, so we're, we've made, we're making a list now, so it's a good thing. Anyway, that's where the aerial goes in, the booster, which is up, up there. And then we've got the um, the August wireless, so you don't need a mobile phone signal. It turns the turns the iPad into a television. Uh, I've just got it plugged in, charging there. We're running the cable just under there, over here. Oh, William says I've just turned it off. I'll turn it back on again in a minute. And the cable comes down here. Um, are we using that cable? No, we're not. We don't need that cable, do we? Right, because it's a wireless, me being, I'm just being dim. This is a wireless transmitter, it just needs to go into the aerial there. Yeah, um, and, and that's it. Yeah, so that the aerial the aerial that went and threaded through there was when we had a television, but we gave up with the television. We don't use television anymore, that's just a bit more old fashioned. Um, and well, we find that that screen there is big enough. Anyway, Storm Kathleen's coming, and we're all, um, we're all it's, it's, despite all that today when we came, we thought we were going to get the residence up, but we haven't. We've actually all settled in, and it's quite nice. Uh, we've got a few cans of Guinness, Kathleen's having a wine. Um, we have another chair in the chair, which we've not got here, which, we'll, which reminds me I need to get for it, because we've put the chair here, and now Will's doing his own work. Because he's doing his air levels. Um, he's done quite well. He's got A star, A and a B. 
Oh, yeah. uh, uh, well, he's not finished them yet. He's not done the finishes air level yet, but he's he's in the first year. Um, so yeah, he's doing. He's, he's on track anyway uh, to to get a reasonable uni. So we'll, we'll see. And uh, all this cooking, as some of you guys have commented, will come in to its own. Um, Next time, you might end up being the uni chef yet. Don't think you'll have much time for that though. And we've uh, just watching a bit of uh, holidays in the sun on the iPad there. And uh, Captain's got the footage you've just seen, and we'll see in a bit, bye bye. Anyway, just um, anyway, just as um, we were talking about the the grass being quite uh, boggy, there's a motorhome turned up now. His front wheel drive, and his front wheel has just gone in. I don't know whether you can see that there. His front wheel has just gone into the mud and he's stuck. He's now going to have to get the guy to come and pull him out. Anyway, he's stuck and the farmer's going up to assess the um, way of getting him out there now. So anyway, I'm having a nice pint of Guinness. Um, I would have gone out, but I've I've, um, I've not actually got my uh, towing rope in the car. But anyway, the traps will come. We'll see. We'll see what happens. It's uh, better than watching telly this. <laughs> he's out. Never so he rocked it back and forward a little bit. And he's managed to get out. Uh, I won't, I'll stop filming now. Just needed that little bit of help. The farmer stood behind and pushed it as he was rocking back and forward. That's a good result actually. Anyway, I'm not going to say anything because on Monday we are going to have to get this arriva out of this, uh, off this grass, but we'll see how we go. In keeping with their Italian heritage, it's a gelato with a fat content and smaller ice crystals making a silkier texture than English ice cream but exactly how it's made is on need to know basis the recipe was formulated by my grandfather back it's in the 30s and there's five ingredients and with the internet now I tell you what it's the basis of the ice cream mix is it's we don't have one Time. It's, it's camping. All CD protections don't matter. I put it on the list. I put it on the list. Hi, honey, how are you doing? Stop it. Don't put the PIWS. Fulvio was in teaching right, daughter Amy all. What are you talking about? It's not really something there practical you that you can write down. It's literally something physical that you need your eyes and just your hands and those kind of senses. Basic. Camping, isn't it? Yeah. To get this camping, you're doing a great job. Let's get this window sorted then. You took a bit more than me. This ritual. I don't mind that one. You took more than me. Give, yeah. give yourself some. Well, oh, trust me, I will. Right, that's fine. I'll have it. Hi, good morning, all. Uh, day two. Um, storms last night, rain. Still very windy now, as you can probably hear. Um, when we came, the guy didn't know we'd booked what. He said, Is there any hard standards available? He says, No, they're all booked up. And we've got we've, people are just, it's like people have just booked a hard standard even when they're not using it. And um, there's just cars on them. Now, whether people will come later, I don't know. But we, we as you can see here, we, we should have booked a hard standing. Anyway, we're looking to go out today. It's um, only lightly cloudy and we're going to go to a National Trust. Uh, but we're just going to grab a coffee now. Uh, our Adam's up, he's had a bit of breakfast and we'll catch up in a bit. Bye bye. Keeping us awake all night. Is it you? Is it you? No.
cat's not bothered with cocks and chickens. Here's another one, Lee. There were no, there were no rats. There were... Right, you're guilty. It's you. You've just given, you've just incriminated yourself, pal. What's these here? All right, lad. I remember some of you eating my packet of crisp when I was a child. Yeah, it's great Christmas turkey, them aren't they? That one's looking over at the back there, thinking, who's these two dudes here? Here's he. Looks a bit like you, Catherine, this. Lock. It, it seems to be locking us out every time. Before it was just occasionally, but um, I don't know whether it just needs greasing or whatever. I also, we're going to go out for a day out now um, to a place, a national trust called Winster Market House. Um, just make a change from walking in mud and shite. Um, we are going to stay, we've booked for three nights here, but it's that bad. We're going to bail out after tonight and we'll go home tomorrow morning and, and lose a night. Um, the car's a, m a mess, the Ariba's a mess, we're a mess and we're all pissed off. And I don't normally swear but this is just a joke. Anyway, we'll see you there, we'll try and make the best of today, bye bye. Just arrived at a place called Winster. So we'll see where the National Trust place is, Winster House. It's a, a, really, a really nice place this. Um, the only thing that spoils the look of these places is just too many cars really, parking everywhere. Anyway, that was Winster House. It was the first house that uh, National Trust bought, so I took care of. I'm going to have a little ride into Bakewell now. Hi all, we're at Bakewell. Um, it's bigger than we thought. There's quite a lot of parking as well. It's very busy today. I don't know whether it's just a normal day or, um, or whether there's something on. But anyway, we'll find out. I'll just show you all the cars. Yeah, a lot of rain as well last night, I'll show you. Look at how fast that's flowing. Even the ducks can't settle. Catherine's behind us in this shop. I've, uh, I've had a sudden uh, improvement in mood. Oh, I'll just let you into a secret. Yesterday, my vape broke. Anyway, I've just got a new one, I'm all happy again.
just going back to the car for some, for her water. Um, our William's got the sandwiches that he put up in the bag. Oh, our William's done a fantastic job. He'll be doing some cooking this evening. Water, what have we got? Well, we have our tart later. Oh, a oh, bag of goodies. Look tassie, at this. Is it? Okay. Well done. Come on, hurry up. Stop holding us up. So we've had a, an unplanned but nice surprise of the day at Bakewell. Recommended to come here if you visit the Peak District. I will head back to the Ariba now and see what the state of play is. And we think by now the grass will have dried up quite a bit so it would uh, be a little bit easier walking in and out. Anyway we'll see and we'll catch up there. Bye bye. Wind's really strong up here. He's going for a run, and I'm going to watch a bit of tally. Right, just got back for a run, and I'm uh, going to make a stir fry tonight. Here's the ingredients I'm going to use: uh, some chicken, spring onion, stir fry mix, pepper, and then the sauces. A bit of you know, no spices really. Don't bring any. So I'm just going to boil a kettle of hot water, so then uh, you can wash your raw chicken away. Oh well, we'll put it in the sink. So I've got this chicken cut and se uh, seasoned. I'm going to put it into this pan that's uh, on now with some oil. And I've washed my hands using that hot water there. So, uh, cutting up a bit of stuff there some garlic, some spring onion, I'm trying to cut it long ways to make it more fancy as well as the pepper and I've got the chicken here, I'm going to brown it off and I'll give it a bit of a sear let's see, uh, make it brown it off and then uh, that, that's it for now so I've done the chicken usually I wouldn't just do it in separate, I'd probably do it after but to get the ch raw chicken out of the way, I've done it now I'm going to put it to the side and heat it back up later with the rest of it. And hopefully no one piece takes any pieces while it's there. So we're going to put, I'm going to put the uh, veg in now and heat that up. So I'm just putting this extra little veg in now. I'm going to put the, ba the bag of the stir fry in as well. Man, I have to use all this. Yeah, use it all. Yeah, get it used. It'll go to nothing anyway. Yeah, I'll put the lid on it and then it'll. it'll yeah, it'll fall. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at that! Fantastic. Put it on low for now. So, uh, we've got the veg here now. It has shrunk, so but it's basically cooking through the the steam that's coming off it. Uh, maybe when it's fully shrunk, we can fry it up at the end. And as you can hear, it's very windy. We've got it there now without the sauce. We're going to mix the sauce in in a sec. Got a bit on the table now by the looks of it as well.
Right, so I've got the rice on now. Oh, and uh, the, a, that's just staying warm there. It's almost there, another like five minutes or so. Looking great. Fine. Little white. It's looking good. This one. Are you today and save 50% you of Halo Halo My hand's getting sore. Your hand's aching. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's good. Hi. Uh, good morning, all. It's a uh, day. Day three, is it day three or is it day two? Anyway, we've had we've had two sleeps. Um, terrible storms last night. We had to put the roof down. Um, halfway through the night, the electric uh, has gone off, so there must be a telegraph pole down or something like that, a, a power cable out or something like that. Um, so in the middle of the night, I woke up and I put the fridge on gas. Also got the gas fire on now. So effectively, we're off grid. Uh, we've decided, even though we've paid for another night we've decided to just sack it off to be honest with you because this is just in a paddy field uh, we're in the middle of a storm uh, we did have a nice out yesterday but what we're going to do is leave the Ariba packed up this morning uh, leave everything as it is just get the Ariba off this grass get us home and then we can start to deal with everything we've got somewhere proper to stand on because right now we, we'll be standing in mud so yeah we're just going to have a coffee get some porridge just take our time because we paid for tonight and we're not using it some other waste of money um and yeah we'll catch up then bye bye anyway ready for packing up um this is mud that's actually coming through our walking in carpet so me and our william now are not going in That's the farmer just driving past. Everything wants wiping down. The aqua roll. Nobody was bringing in the cable in. Uh, we don't have any electric. And what we're going to try and do is push this arriba. We'll try and push it rather than use a muck, muck up the Land Cruiser and splatter all the front of the arriba with mud. We've got some there, but it's not too bad. And let's just keep it like that. Anyway, I've got to empty the Atlas and uh, the toilet into the into the point and Catherine's washing up and everything and tidying up and, and we're just going to leave the food in the cupboards like I said and, and head off Our shoes totally ringing wet through fortunately I will brought a, a spare pair of trainers and I brought my walking boots and Catherine has walking boots so uh, I was just cleaning the aqua roll and everything We've just got to get that caravan over to this point and then I can hitch up. So, let's see how we, how we do this now. So, we're in low. I'm going to 
and goes the front to back lock. So that's our cut short weekend from three nights down to two nights. I don't think we'll need to give you any more explanation as to why. Um, got that out quite easy then. That front to rear diff lock made all the difference. Well, I'm not sure we needed it. We weren't too deep. Um, it's a good job we've got a four wheel drive. Well, don't go camping the grass if you've got a two wheel drive. Anyway, what do you reckon, guys? Was it? Was it just, rubbish? Just, oh. just well, on. we had a nice day today, didn't we? Yeah, it was nice and, it, it, and we managed just through just through being really structured in the way we, we did things that we, we we managed to keep the mud outside of the Ariba. Uh, we put our shoes under the Ariba last night and ended up with puddles in them. Um, I think I had a goldfish in mine. Um, but overall, I think next time this time of year, it's definitely got to be outstanding. And funnily enough, the chap came to me this morning, the firm, and said, if you want to stay another night, you can. Um, there's a hard standing, there's two cancelled because of the storm whips. Anyway, we, we, we thought we'd just, we had it set in our mind that we're going. Stop, sorry if we've it on. Um, we'll see you again probably in the river in a couple of months, and if not, we're definitely going in the tent anyway when it gets drier. So for now, see ya, bye-bye. See ya. Seems to be stuck on something there. Just get all of it well. Come on, you, you just pull it and I'll lift stuff up. Is, is this it's a strap on the inside. Yeah, we see. I've got one as well. Just doing the same. I'm nearly at the front. How are you doing? Good. Keep going. I'm at the front. I think we have it. Okay, that's good. Put it from the front, well, and I'll feed it at the back. Okay, so it's not normally that difficult, but the straps on the inside where we couldn't see them, one was still connected. It was hooking to the back of the caravan where we couldn't see it, but it wasn't that, it's not normally that difficult, but anyway, I'll throw the straps under there. Why did you just pull it and put it on myself? 